Hi there, in this video I'm going to just briefly talk about Netmail and how to set that up in your Mystic Bulletin Board. And this is something I think you really should try and get set up pretty early in the piece because it's a way of communicating between individual systems but it's a, a more of a personal one-to-one -one way of doing it. So Echo Mail, as we've spoken about before, is kind of like uh, having a conversation in a very large room where people can uh, see what you're saying. And um, it's a bit like Twitter, I suppose, in a sense, because when you post into a, a message base, an echo mail message base, that is uh, packed up and sent to other bulletin boards, which in turn display it to the users of that system, and they can post, and so on it goes. Everything gets um, transferred around, and everyone can see what's being said. That's all cool. But if you wanted to, say, send a private message as the system operator of your bulletin board and you wanted to get a private message to the system operator of another bulletin board, how do you do it? The answer is you send them a netmail. But first we need to configure a netmail base, so I'm going to do that for us now in the configuration setting of Mystic. So we go across into editors and we go down into message base editor and at the bottom here I'm going to press the forward slash key and press insert to create a new base and at the moment you can see that it's a local base so let's press enter and start setting this up so you have a couple of choices you can set up a netmail base for each message network that you're with or if you want to you can just set up one single netmail base that covers all the various message networks and Mystic is smart enough to know if you're connected to several message networks and you're addressing it to say somebody in FSXNet which uses zone 21 then it would send it through the echo node that is linked um, to that message network or for argument's sake if you were sending something to zone 2 which is in FidoNet and you had an echo node set up for uh, connecting to FidoNet Mystic would know to send netmail off through that echo node so I'll show you all about that shortly so netmail I'm not sure if I need an echo tag, I never know these things, should do, shouldn't I? Netmail, just to be safe, I'll give it a file name as well as of Netmail, which I'll make lowercase. Now, um, it's up to you whether you want to offer your users of the bulletin board a Netmail access, but I would probably suggest to start with you just set it up for yourself. So I'm going to make the list access for this S, whoops, better press enter on that. S255 and I only want to see this as part of my FSX uh, group at the moment so I'm going to put it into group 1. So to list it, to even see it, you have to be a SISOP. Um, again you can play with these settings to whatever you want but I'm just setting this up so only I can see it at the moment. So everything is group 1. Now the base type does need to change and pressing enter I've got some options. Remember there's local Echo Mail, which is the one we've played with until now, News Group, which is to do with Usenet News Groups, and the last one is Netmail. So let's use that. Now, um, you don't need to put the net address in here, I think, or do you? I think we will for now. Let's presume that this one's going to be, um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll call this uh, Netmail, but I'll also put in brackets FSX. Net. So I am actually going to set this one up just for FSX net because I've already set it into group 1. So choosing my net address, you'll recall I've just got the one address for FSX net which is usually you only have one address and I'll put that in there. Um, you don't need to export anything to any nodes because unlike Echo Mail, Mystic will understand that if you've got a Echo node that's set up to handle uh, zone 21 netmail, it will just route it through that and I'll show you how that works again shortly. The origin I'm just going to change to Thor BBS and over here I'll just leave these as default but because it's netmail it's kind of nice to send a name, uh, a message to a real person so I'm setting that to yes and apart from that I'm all happy and good to go so I'm going to hit escape and you'll see I now have a netmail message base. If I get out of that and just quickly go across into configuration, recall that we have echo mail nodes which we configure as systems we connect to 
and we've got the one for the FSNet, FSNet, can't say the word, FSXNet hub, which is handling both echo mail and net mail traffic, as well as any files that it wants to send us. Now the key point in here is this routing info line is purely to do with net mail, and what's that is saying is if there's anything addressed in the way of net mail to something that begins with zone 21, doesn't matter who, route it through this connection. So that's the magic line that needs to be in place for netmail to work. So if I get out of all of this and we go into the Mystic Bulletin Board itself and I log in as Red72, uh, super duper system operator with a secret password that you might remember from previous videos, um, and I go into the message menu so if I go area change, you'll see that I've now got a couple of message bases and I've labelled the other one netmail, so we'll go into that. And let me think, is there anything else I should show you? There are some other things to do with netmail, but let's just see how we get on with this one. So if I go post, and I'm sending it to Paul Hayton, which is myself, and my destination address is 21. 1101. Now this may can out on me and I'll show you why in a second. Well, so far so good. The subject is hello Paul and I'm in. So now I'm able to write a net mail which just as far as writing it's concerned looks very much like you're composing an echo mail message. Hello Paul, how's it going? Going this is my net mail to you smiley face, best Paul. Seems like a nice guy, hopefully he'll reply. And then I use the forward slash key to bring up the command prompt and you remember the S key saves the message. Saved. Now behind the scenes stuff's happening and the first thing I'll show you is in the semaphore log it's created echo mail out. Now that's interesting because I would have thought they would have said net mail out. So that would be something I wasn't expecting to see. But anyway, it should be saying netmail out. And in the configuration side of things, I'll just show you a couple of things too. In configuration message base settings, there is the ability to create a semaphore for messages when you are um, logged in, when the moment you write a message, it won't create the semaphore saying um, netmail out until you either log out or if you toggle this on the message post. My suggestion is you set that to message post so things get sent quickly. The other thing is you might want to change the default origin here because um, each time you create a message base you have to keep retyping that bit where it says new mystic BBS. So instead we'll say Thor BBS. So that's just a couple of things I suggest you change. So now if I log out, what happens if I actually log out? I'll just go forward slash G, no, forward slash G to goodbye. If I check now, ah, uh, here we are. See, the netmail.out semaphore has been created. Now we can automate this process so that Mystic will automatically realize that these semaphores have been created and Mutil will run and do all this stuff automatically and I'll show you how all that works in another video but for now I'm just going to run things manually so you can see what happens. So semaphores have been created, there's been some echo mail and net mail posted and we need to export them out. So we use the Mutil out function again, Mutil, sorry, mail out. So I'm using the mail out any. What happens? Boom, there we go. Now you can see that no echo mail was exported, so obviously there was nothing in there to, to export, but one net mail message was. And I'll just call the log file up. Um, where are we? Logs, mutil, bring it into view. And if I go down to the bottom of the log, here we go. So I am exporting net mail. Num message number one, it's addressed to 211100 and it's just gone and zipped up the message packet and stuck it into the outbound directory with um, a compressed file name there. The .sa means it's a Saturday file and it is Saturday here as I record this. So now we've got something in the mystic echo mail out FidoNet directory, two files, 
one that's got the message, another which is kind of like a, a text placeholder file that points to this message. So if I just edit that, you can see it's just simply saying that's where the, the file is and what its name is. But the important thing is that it's got a CLO extension, which simply means send it straight away when you run Fidopol. So if I run Fidopol now, I'll clear the screen and I'll just type Fidopol to bring up the command options so we can see what we can do. The one that's worth send, uh, using at least is Fidopol send because that's going to send to connected echo nodes when you have stuff to send. It's that uh, more delicate instrument rather than saying Fidopol forced which is going to just poll everybody for the sake of it even though you may not have stuff to send them. So I'll go Fidopol space S-E-N-D and it's going to send and receive at the same time because there's obviously stuff waiting for us at the hub um, our message. So our netmail has now left and gone off to the hub and at this point I'm just going to pause the video and in the meantime I will pick up that message on the other system and reply to it so hopefully when we Fido poll in just a tick we'll pick up another message that will be the reply. Okay, we're back. Probably a couple of minutes have passed while I've been playing around behind the scenes, but in the blink of an eye, fingers crossed now, if I go Fido poll again, and I'll poll the hub, 21100, we should pick up some more messages, and this time I've got a packet here, so that's an uncompressed uh, message, which I believe will be the net mail that was sent from the hub when I did the reply because it's gone from my bulletin board, which is Agency BBS, to the hub. The hub has routed the netmail to this address at this uh, demo system. Now I want to run mutil mail in, and there we go. Three echo messages have come in, as well as one netmail. I'll just show you what the logging file looks like as well, so we can see everything that's going on as we speak. Mutil drag that across into the screen so you can see it and get to the bottom. So here's the most recent process. So it imported a packet which was um, some echo mail, uh, several echo mail messages and then we've got um, this net mail here. Packet area net mail, net mail from Paul Hayton to Joe User. So Joe User was the, the real name of the um, SISOP that I set up for this demo system and um, because we sent messages with, uh, from a netmail base on the demo system with real name set, so it appeared to come from Joe User, not Red72. Now I'm kind of hoping that if I log in, which I'm trying to run now, where's my mystic side of things? Do, do, do. Get rid of the configuration. Gosh, we've got so many different things open at the moment. Here we go, I'll just bring it into view. I'll log in as Red72, I could log in as Joe User, it wouldn't matter. And go into the message area and go into Netmail, read new. Oh look, this is looking good, so I've got the two messages, the one I sent and it looks like I've got a reply from this bloke Paul Hayton. So there's my original one, and if I use the right arrow key to step to the next message, here it is here, and you can see at the top it's really it's showing you the address that's come from and the address it's sent to. So from Paul Hayton at 211101, Joe User uh, to Joe User, and then I've just uh, quoted the message. You can see uh, the message that we sent, and then the reply coming back from the other system, which is the agency BBS. If I use the V key to turn the clutch lines on. Uh, again, you can see that uh, this address, it shows the uh, the path, so to speak, so it's gone from 211101 to 211999, it's a reply, um, and it's gone via the hub, and you can also see that the hub system has put a, a date and timestamp on it. So that's pretty useful as information as well. Netmail is really powerful because there are some cool things you can do with Netmail to communicate with the hub system. So if you want the hub system to, uh, say, send you a bunch of messages that you haven't received, maybe you're a new user or a new bulletin board system and you want to get kind of like the old messages that are already held at the hub, you can send commands to the hub through private Netmail. And uh, those sort of setups are the, the subject of another video. But for now, that's Netmail 101. I hope you found that interesting. Stay tuned for more 
uh, topics and top tips as we explore Mystic Bulletin Board together. Thanks for watching.